Why fans think Taylor Swift was secretly in the room as Travis Kelsey recorded New Heights podcast, they're tied together with a smile, Swifties believe they have spotted a moment in Travis Kelsey's latest New Heights episode that proves he taped the podcast near his girlfriend, Taylor Swift, who are you looking at Trav? One fan asked via X Wednesday alongside a clip of the Kansas City Chiefs player briefly looking up to the side and then flashing a big smile at someone off camera. Another person pointed out the cute moment, writing via X, the way Travis is fully being distracted by Taylor here, it's possible Kelsey, 34, is still abroad with Swift, also 34, as he does not have to return to the US until July 21st when training camp begins for the 2024 NFL season. The Chiefs' first game is scheduled for September 5th, during his hiatus, the pro athlete has attended ERA's tour shows in both London and Dublin, the latter of which appeared to catch the pop superstar by surprise. On Sunday night, fans spotted Swift grinning from ear to ear, just as Kelsey did on his podcast while performing August in a flowing red ensemble, her entire body language changed. One fan pointed out via X at the time. This is the cutest thing ever and I'm so glad we got to see it. Kelsey and Swift, who have been dating since last summer, are often unable to hide how smitten they are with each other. In previous New Heights episodes, eagle-eyed Swifties pointed out when the You Belong With Me singer snagged the Super Bowl champ's attention for brief moments. In October 2023, Kelsey was noticeably distracted when his brother, Jason Kelsey, was reading a script during a commercial break, Travis, Travis. The former Philadelphia Eagles center, 36, called out to his younger brother at the time to grab his attention, prompting the Chiefs player to finally look up from his phone after the second nudge. A month later, Travis once again appeared distracted on his phone while taping the podcast, one Swifty speculated at the time, he was totally texting Taylor. A source told Nat FL earlier this week that Travis makes romantic gestures to show he's thinking of her when they're apart. Gracie Abrams recalls Taylor Swift bringing Travis Kelsey on stage during her concert at Wembley Stadium in London, Gracie Abrams is sharing some insight into Travis Kelsey's surprise onstage cameo during Taylor Swift's show at Wembley Stadium in London, England, on June 23. During a visit to SiriusXM's The Morning Mashup on Tuesday, Gracie opened up about her experience touring with the 34-year-old musician, and revealed that she got to speak with Taylor's Kansas City Chiefs tight end Bo before he joined her on stage. Before we both went on, we were in the tent and he was like, he went on right before I did like, I think two songs or something. He's like, I'll mess up so you look really good. Gracie, who also joined Taylor on stage that night to perform their song, Us, recalled of the 34-year-old Travis appearance, Travis has devoted countless hours to watching Taylor's shows around the world, including Australia, Paris, Kansas City where it all started and, most recently, three consecutive shows in London and one in Dublin, Ireland. His on-stage cameo in London came during the Tortured Poets Department era as Taylor transitioned from a dress to a two-piece outfit thanks to her backup dancers. Travis wearing a black tuxedo and top hat to match Taylor's other dancers, carried his girlfriend of roughly a year on stage and stood by as her two other dancers stripped her of the dress while he stood back and smiled. On June 24, a person close to the couple shared with Nat FL that Travis and the So High School singer have long been planning to get him up on stage for a performance and that the stars finally aligned over the weekend at Wembley Stadium. The source told Nat FL that while Travis' appearance was manicured to perfection including one sweet moment where he pretended to apply makeup to Taylor's face before she began singing, I can do it with a broken heart, he only had a few hours to get it. Together. The source added, Travis only had one night of rehearsal, the evening before he performed on stage, and didn't miss a beat. Taylor was beaming from ear to ear as Travis took on the dapper role. The two are hoping he can make a cameo again in the future, that Monday, Taylor took to Instagram to reflect on her three-show run and thank the fans and friends some 240,000 in total over the weekend, who came out to support and rock with her for the show. Wembley Stadium Round 1 was so surreal. Looking out into crowds of 90,000 fans each night and hearing that volume, those were some of the loudest crowds I've ever heard, Taylor wrote. Acoustic sections went off. 
I got to sing, Castles Crumbling with Haley Williams for the first time, hadn't performed with her since 2011 and man my heart was just so full of love for her and our friendship. Then the impossibly gifted and wonderful Gracie Abrams came and surprised the crowd with the first performance of our song, U.S., she also acknowledged her football star boyfriend's era's tour debut, shouting him out individually and tagging him in a photo dump. And I'm still cracking up slash swooning over Kilotrav's era's tour debut and never going to forget these shows. Can't wait to do it five more times in August. Up next, Dublin, she wrote, in May, a source told Nat FL that Travis and Taylor, who began their love story last year, have family and friends suspicious of an engagement. Taylor and Travis are doing amazing, and their loved ones see an engagement coming sooner than later. The source said. They make a great match and there's no question about that, as for Gracie, she is thrilled that she's able to be part of Taylor's era's tour. Every single person on the team, I just, you're like, holy st, hey. Big hug. Tears, tears, tears. Miss you so much. See you again in the fall, which is, the fact that we get to go back is so exciting and such a relief because I can't imagine that tour not existing, she told the morning mashup hosts Nicole Ryan, Ryan Sampson and Stanley T, the 24-year-old singer added, when she said the other night at one of her shows, oh, this tour will end in December. I was like, man, I've never even considered the fact that that will happen. I'm so excited for everyone to get to hopefully rest and all that, but I'm gonna miss it like crazy, when reflecting on the crop of big-name celebrities that Taylor has entertained throughout this tour. Gracie admitted that she has found herself starstruck, particularly when meeting the Beatles' Sir Paul McCartney, it's just a community of really supportive people, Gracie explained. Truly, everyone, whether you're in the tent or in the top row in the stadium, it's like everyone is there because there is such deep joy and feeling associated with all of the music that she's put out over the past 18 years and it's like, I don't know. It's a really magical thing.